This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at methods of reduction of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions. We will start by looking at the reduction of sulfur dioxide. So pre-combustion methods remove or reduce sulfur in oil or coal before combustion. The first process we look at is hydro desulfurization. It's a chemical process that uses a catalyst to remove sulfur from natural gas and from refined petroleum products. The removal of sulfur reduces the sulfur dioxide emissions when fuels are burned. Next, we look at fluidized bed combustion. In fluidized bed combustion, coal is mixed with powdered limestone, which is calcium carbonate, during combustion. So we start with calcium carbonate, and at high temperatures, it decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The calcium oxide reacts with the sulfur dioxide to form calcium sulfite. The calcium oxide can also react with sulfur dioxide and oxygen to form calcium sulfate. As you can see in these reactions, the sulfur dioxide, the SO2, is removed during combustion. And next we look at post-combustion methods. Flue gas desulfurization can remove up to 90% of sulfur dioxide emissions from power stations. And here we have the equations that occur in the waste gases. We have calcium oxide reacting with the sulfur dioxide to form calcium sulfite. Calcium carbonate is also used and that reacts with sulfur dioxide to form calcium sulfite and carbon dioxide. The calcium sulfite reacts with oxygen to form calcium sulfate. Next, we look at the reduction of nitrogen oxides. Catalytic converters convert carbon monoxide and nitrogen monoxide to carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Hot exhaust gases are mixed with air and passed over a platinum or palladium catalyst. And here's the equation for the process. Carbon monoxide and nitrogen monoxide react with air in the presence of a catalyst to form carbon dioxide and nitrogen. This reduces emissions of nitrogen monoxide. Here we can see the reaction that occurs at high temperatures in internal combustion engines. Nitrogen reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen monoxide. One method of reducing the nitrogen oxide emissions is exhaust gas recirculation. This recirculates exhaust gases back into the engine, which lowers the operating temperature and reduces nitrogen oxide emissions. And finally, we look at how the effects of acid deposition can be reduced. Powdered calcium carbonate is added to lakes to reduce the acidity, as we can see in this picture here. Calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide are also used to neutralize acidic water. In these two equations, we can see the reaction of calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide with sulfuric acid. In both reactions, the products are calcium sulfate and water.